Hi there, sweet friends. It's Cynthia Nessel from Create with Cynthia. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a no sew heart pillow. So, let me show you what you need to make the, the pillow. I picked up these girly pillows from the Ikea store because they're only $5, a little bit less than that. I also got some fur faux material at the fabric store. Like, I, I did a half a yard and cut it to a square piece. You're gonna need a glue gun and you're gonna need scissors and you're gonna need parchment paper. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your pillow out of the wrapper and you're going to lay the pillow down so that the zipper is towards you because I'm gonna be looking at my pillow and creating it this way. Next, you're gonna take your parchment paper and you're gonna put it inside the pillow case because you don't want the glue to seep through. Now I'm gonna take my faux fur and I'm gonna turn it over onto its back. And I'm just going to draw out a cute heart. You could also just freehand by cutting it. You don't necessarily need to draw it out. Or if you wanna use a pattern, you can find a big heart size that you like and use a pattern. So. I kind of figured I wanted my heart to be around the size of this piece of faux fur that I cut. So I'm just going to kind of draw out the heart like that. It's not really, you can't really see it very well, but it doesn't matter because I'm, I usually just guess. And then you're going to cut your heart with your scissors. Faux fur needs a pretty sharp scissor. And what I would suggest that you do is cut one side first, and then what I like to do is, once I've got one side cut, now I'd love to hear where you're watching from. I live in a small town between San Francisco and San Jose in the Northern California area. Okay, so I've cut one side of my heart now. I'm just going to turn it, fold it in half because I want it to be exactly the same on the other side. And I'm going to use that as my pattern to cut the other side. Now I'm really working hard on getting to 500 people on YouTube as subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscriber button. You can also hit the notifications button and that way you will be notified when I upload new videos. But normally I upload videos on Mondays and Wednesdays. My YouTube videos are all about DIY home decor projects and vintage furniture makeovers. Okay, so now that I've got my heart cut, I think it's a pretty nice design. I'm just going to glue it onto my pillow. My glue gun is ready. I'll test it out on the paper plate. It's coming out fine. Just going to add the glue to the back of the heart like this. And you're going to need quite a bit of glue. Now I'm going to just turn it over and center it where I want it. Now the glue is really hot, so be careful. And 
If you didn't get all the areas, now is the time where you can just lift up the spots that you missed and add some more glue. I would give it a few minutes to dry. I'm going to use this pillow on my sofa for the Valentine's Day holiday and um, then I'll put it away and I'll have it for next year. It's a white pillow and I have two dogs and they can be pretty dirty. So it's going to be a decorative pillow that I'm going to use. You can take your parchment paper out and there you have a faux fur heart pillow for Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Crate with Cynthia YouTube channel and ring the bell so you'll be notified on Mondays and Wednesdays when I've uploaded new videos. Now go out there and create something.